hello guys in this video i'm going to be telling you guys what to do when your female rabbit gives birth to avoid death of the bunnies what to do when your female rabbit gives birth to help also increase the growth rate for your rabbit bunnies so if this is your first time coming across our channel in this channel we teach you how to become a successful rabbit farmer a successful rabbit breeder and also a pet owner so if that's what you find interesting consider liking this video and subscribing to our youtube channel so basically when your female rabbit gives birth, there are a lot of things you need to do to help her. You know, I talked about the step-by-step -step routine on what you need to give your female rabbit, the medication to give her right from the one and all. But I'm going to be telling you guys some basic things to do when your female rabbit is about to give birth and also when she gives birth. So for those of you guys that have been gaining from our channel, if you know you have been gaining value from this our channel, you have been learning something from this our channel, and maybe you want to support the channel, you can just see a super thanks button. You see where they write thanks down there click on that thanks and you can support with any little token you have that will help the channel and that will go a very long way for the channel just click on that thanks button and you can support with the little token you have yes so thank you so this particular female rabbit gave birth come closer so that you are going to i did a video on come and video this nesting box i did a video on when i was putting in this nesting box for this female rabbit I did a video on that when I was putting in the nesting box for this female rabbit. So the female rabbit actually gave birth today. The female rabbit gave birth today. After putting in the nesting box, you will notice she removed a lot of her hair. I put in some dry um, plantain leaves for her hair. So she removed a lot of her hair from her body and put it in there. So basically when the, these rabbits are about to give birth, three days before they are about to give birth, you need to put in your nesting box. Then when once they, you notice that they have started packing those um dry leaf because they'll start packing those dry leaves in their mouth they'll start packing it into the um, box those dry leaves once they start packing those dry leaves into the box make sure make sure that you put a lot of those leaves these leaves will help keep your your rabbit babies warm so that it will avoid them dying from cold one of the things that kills these babies is cold and also your nesting box is very very important your nesting box should be in a very good way i see a lot of people using nesting boxes that the up are just somehow very open and the nesting box is just very open most times wind can just enter that nesting box very easily and cold can affect those little babies so when you are doing your nesting box doing it in a very good way like the way we actually did this our own so that your babies will be safe from cold cold won't be able to affect them like that so when the rabbit have given birth make sure you increase her feed uh, quantity if you are feeding 100 grams in a day make sure you increase it to about uh, 150 to 200 grams so that she'll be eating very well as she'll be breastfeeding the kids because you will not be feeding her the exact amount you were feeding her before that she was uh, not pregnant that she had not given birth you will not be feeding her the same amount you need to increase it because she actually she's actually breastfeeding babies right now then also at, after the first day of she giving birth you need to give her antibiotics so i talked about the antibiotics you can give your rabbit you can either give her the oxy super the oxy super antibiotics you can either give her this oxy super antibiotics which is the injectable or you give her this bitter leaf which is the organic so for me i want to give her this bitter leaf for now because i don't want to inject her so i want to be putting in the bitter leaf for the female rabbit as you can see i just put in the bitter leaf come closer and the female rabbit is eating it very very well this bitter leaf is works as an antibiotic this is going to help the female rabbit regain strength it's going to help the female rabbit regain strength because pushing these babies she has actually lost a lot of strength so this bitter leaf is going to help her and when you want to feed this bitter leaf to your female rabbit you can as well wash it or wilt it because some of these bitter leaf have little little holes on them so insects do lay their eggs on these leaves so if you feed them like that it might cause issues to the rabbit so make sure you wash it with either salt or you wilt it when i say wilt it you just dry it in a little shade let it die just as if it dies off a bit yes so that way you can now feed it into your rabbit cage then the female rabbit is going to eat it that will help her very very well and also give her fresh clean water at that they give her fresh clean water and another thing you need to do when, when once they have given birth make sure you check inside that nesting box for dead kids because most times as they are giving birth at that process of them giving birth some of those kids might lose their lives yes yeah, some of those kids might lose their lives so you need to check inside that nesting box for dead kids just check around use your hand touch around make sure all of them are together so that they'll be warm together make sure all of them are together so that they'll be warm then just touch around if there's any dead kids around just use your hand pick it out and remove it a lot of people say if you touch the babies at the first day 
they will, the mother will not breastfeed them. That is a lie. When once you want to touch the babies, I'll give you some few tricks of, of using. Just rub the mother a bit with your hand, or you touch their feet. Then use that hand and touch the babies. Then nothing will happen to them. Yes. Or you wear a little bit waterproof gloves in your hand if you are scared. But rubbing the mother and touching the kids will keep the smell of the mother in your hand. Then you can touch the kids. So the mother does not smell any other thing if she's not used to your smell. But if she used to, if she's used to your smell, then you can touch her directly. There's nothing there. She will still breastfeed the kids. I don't believe in all those things that they say if you if you touch the babies. The, the mother won't breastfeed them. That's all I right. so you need to check in the nursing bus, remove all the dead kids inside the net. If there are maybe one dead kid, you remove it. Then make sure all the ones that are inside there are together. Then if she did not pull a lot of four, if she did not remove plenty hair, you can use your hand to remove some of her hair and put it inside there and still leave her. She might breastfeed them then. Also, for the first three days, you need to be checking up to three times a day or two times a day if she has breastfed those kids the way you can know that she has breastfed those kids is that those kids their, their belly will be round and the kids will be warm when once the kids are warm and their belly are round you know that that mother rabbit has breastfed them when once you know they notice their, that their belly is uh shrinky and somehow their ribs is showing you know that that female rabbit has not breastfed them then you need to force feed you need to force feed them i did a video on how i showed you guys how to force feed your rabbit you need to force feed them the mother rabbit is not breastfeeding them you need to force feed them so you check if she's breastfeeding them then you leave them after like three days if she breastfeed them from that three days then you can just be checking them once a day because she'll continue with that way she'll be continue breastfeeding them but if she does not breastfeed them then that means you have a lot of work to do by force feeding this rabbit so a lot of people do think that after their female rabbit just give birth days they, they need to do a different thing entirely or they need to change their feed or there's a special feed for feeding pregnant female or they need to do any special thing you don't need to do any other special thing once your female rabbit gives birth just continue with the feeding method you are giving her if you're feeding her feeds continue with the feed if you're feeding her leaves continue with the leaves don't try to change any other thing to make it suit because the fact that she has given birth don't try to change it don't try to change her diet as this might cause issues don't try to change her diet all you don't need to do is to increase the amount of feed intake you are giving to that female rabbit and that will be very very good don't say my female rabbit has given me what am i going to do just what you are going to do check the bunnies if the bunnies are well fed make sure the mother rabbit is well fed so that she's going to have more strength to feed them give her antibiotics at day one from day two you start your multivitamin if you don't know the routine medications to give your female rabbit that has given birth you can go and check that our video that we did on routine medication step by step medication okay i'll be dropping the video at the end of this particular video so that you are, you are going to see it step by step medication on how to medicate your female rabbit that has given birth step by step from day one right to day 45 and also the bonus too so that video explained everything step by step so you can go and check that video at the end of this video so for those of you guys that have been learning from our channel and maybe you want to uh, appreciate us for teaching and all of this you can check on that thanks button there's a button down there showing thanks click on that thanks button click on it then you you can support with a little token you have any little token you have starting from maybe 900 naira or so you can support with any little token you have any amount you want to support and that will help the channel that will go a, a very very long way it's like appreciating the channel saying thanks to the channel so it's something that is on youtube that you can use to appreciate this channel so thank you for watching guys please support us and as that will go a very long way thanks for watching like comment and also do well to turn on the notification bell so that when we post another video you'll get notified by youtube thank you once again do have a nice day and peace